to thrillers hit the big screens this weekend. Here to review Reminiscence and The Night House, our movie critics, Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Howell. Hello, welcome back. It seems like a while since we've had both of you. Yes. Oh. I've been avoiding him, so it's all good. Uh-oh. Can't blame her. Well, can't blame her. <laughs> Summer is over. Travel's probably winding down a little bit, so it it's is. good to have you uh, you both back. And I understand, Pam, we're starting with uh, your movie this week. We are. We're going to start with The Night House. It stars Rebecca Hall as a grieving widow, Beth. Her husband has committed suicide on this beautiful lake that they are building their dream house. As she is grieving her husband's death, some strange things start to happen at night. She's not quite sure what's happening. She's getting phone calls and text messages from her dead husband. She's also seeing some things. What's happening, she doesn't really know. Um, this, this film follows a very familiar trajectory, I think, for all horror films, but what sets this apart is that there aren't any of those silly little jump scares that make us, you know, literally jump in our seats and then laugh at ourselves for doing that. This movie is creepy. It gives you that visceral feel of, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? We never know what the lines between reality and fiction are with what Beth is experiencing, which again makes this very smart. Um, you have that visceral feel, as I said before. However, as Chuck and I have discussed, I left seeing this movie thinking oh, that I really loved it. And then we started to talk about it. And then I realized, oh my goodness, there are so many holes in the plot. Can I forgive it for that? Yes, I can. <laughs> I oh. enjoyed how I felt while I watched this movie. It is scary. It's creepy. You don't know what's real and what's not. And I, I like to think that maybe this is a little bit more than a horror or a thriller film. Maybe this is an analogy or a metaphor for depression, which is what Beth is going through. And maybe these are the demons that she's wrestling with from within. Chuck is not agreeing. He's shaking yeah. his head for usual. Shocker. Shocker, right? <laughs> Needed more. Needed more. You can't Wait. forgive it for the whole. I cannot forgive it. No, my time is too valuable. Without the jump scares, <laughs> does it feel... Because in, in horror movies, when you have those, sometimes you go, okay, I can relax for a second, and then you get back into being scared. It feels like without those, maybe it's just you're tense the entire time. No, they, they bring you on this roller coaster okay. ride, and you get chills through. I mean, I saw goosebumps on my arms and my legs, and I felt the chills go down my back. <laughs> so you really do. Okay, whatever. You Jeff. have a draft at home. That's what's happening. You have a draft. It's 88 Shut degrees. Wind, <laughs> All right. Well, we've maybe got. Maybe uh, reminiscence you enjoyed more. Ah, I enjoyed this one much more because I have taste. Reminiscence. Oh my. Uh, oh is a great film. Uh, as far as refer <laughs> referencing film history, if you know your film history, oh. you'd probably understand this one a bit more because it's all about film noir and a character, of course, who's going to go down a bad path to a bad end. And that would be Hugh Jackman. He plays a guy named Nick. And it's the near future. And you know what? What they said was going to happen, happened. Those polar ice caps have melted. The oceans are rising. And we're all doomed. So people are starting to find solace in the past and Nick and his veteran friend played by Fondy Newton they have a device that you can be submerged in and they give you a little shot and you can access your memories and you basically relive those memories and of course people are choosing happy memories and uh, Nick can see these as they play out well a woman walks in by the name of May played by Rebecca Ferguson she walks in innocently one day to their establishment saying she's lost her keys she needs to take a trip to find out where she was where she left them there's much more going on than that as she then ensnares him into this plot in which he ends up being duped over some very serious things. And when she disappears, Nick tries to figure out where she's gone by looking at clues from his own memories and other people's memories. This one's really twisty-turny as far as the plot is concerned, and it kept me constantly on my feet. It is too long, I will give it that. There are two fight scenes that need to be excised <laughs> right away, one that taxed my patience. <laughs> but in the end, the ending just really blew me away because it ties everything together, and it ends up being very, very romantic in a very tragic way. Is this but a little Inception-like? It, oh, it, oh, gosh. Sorry, sorry, Louie. <laughs> it's Inception. Wait, <laughs> it's Inception. It's Dark City. Okay. It's all these. Interesting. Things. But yeah. did it give you goosebumps? No. Like but I was curious about it. Oh. I was never bored. 
Okay, let's, curious bumps is what let's they talk some uh, winners that you've got to announce. Right, uh, Sweet Girl is opening on Netflix tomorrow, and several winners, I believe there are about 15 in all. You got your codes, check your emails to make sure you got them. They are active until tonight at midnight, when then oh. the rest of the world who has a Netflix subscription can watch them. Ashley Chappell, Don Burr, Darla Deacon, Trinita Winston, Nancy Roth, and 10 others, you have won this early access to see Sweet Girl. Okay, if they missed out on Sweet Girl, you've got something else. Yes, yeah, never ending reminiscence. If you want to see reminiscence, you can uh, throw into our uh, website at uh, Real Talk of Chuck and Pam, enter that, and you'll be able to get a code to watch it for free at home. All as right. well as tickets in, in theaters, the theater. Yeah. Yes. And those yes. winners will be announced tomorrow, tomorrow morning. on the right. morning show. Yeah. And okay. You too could have goosebumps in your home. <laughs> That's <Me>. right. <laughs> All right. Still to come here, we'll connect you with everything happening with Chuck and Pam and their Facebook page and website on our website, CILiving.tv.